Hi guys and welcome. This is Geometry A. We are going to be talking about uh, nets and drawings for visualizing geometry. Uh, I can't get too much into this without going to this wonderful website that I just uh, love and adore for working with nets. So let's go to it. Alright, now this one is called the uh, it's www.learner.org uh, it's the Annenberg Learn Learner. It's a really wonderful place just for you to go. But anyways, uh, what it is is it actually talks about pyramids and it talks about uh, the nets of them. Okay, and so as you can see, uh, we have a triangular prism here, and if we were to unfold it, it would look something like this. And then if you were to fold it back up, so a net is just basically an unfolding of an object. Now if we did a rectangular prism like a cube or something, we would definitely have something that looks like this. And it, you know, the net, the net is the most important part. You have to visualize it and take it apart with your mind to see what it's going to look like. A pentagonal prism, as you can see, there's kind of a pattern. You're just wrapping the sides and stuff. An octagonal prism is what I like to think is what it's doing. Okay, now also there's other shapes that we can also be looking at. Let's go to pyramids. These ones are pretty cool to just see them be unwrapped in their nets. Okay. And so a net of a prison, it's definitely, if any of you guys are Legend of Zelda fans, this shape should look very familiar. <laughs> okay. Alright, so there's a net of a triangular prison, a rectangular prism, a pentagonal prism, looks like just like a star of David All right, and a hexagonal prism okay uh, now there are some that let me move up and over a little bit so we can go back to our other screen okay alright now there are some that are going to be kind of tricky I do know that uh, it did not cover a cone okay and so cone let's say it looks like this Okay, now the net of this is going to be the circle and then attached to it, and this is going to be a very rough, 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 rough drawing. Okay, it's going to be part of another circle. It's going to be actually like a circle sector. Okay, so it's going to be something that looks like this. Um, let me see, what other objects do we have that we can work with? You can't really unwrap a sphere. I think that's pretty much it. You're going to have to go check out that website for yourself. Uh, it is, and I just straight up Googled, I Googled nets with geometric solid, geometric figures. Or sorry, I, I Googled uh, nets in geometry interactive. Okay, and this was the actual. Let me go back to it. There we go. So this was my actual Google experience. So nets in geometry interactive. Okay. And there's also some other great ones that just work here, like this one's Geometry Solids. Illuminations is a pretty good website to work with too. All right, so you can select a ton of shapes, like cube. We've already seen it. You know, just worked with it, and you could actually mess around with it, and you could actually make your own. This, this I've told, I kind of forgot about. That's interesting. All right. So you got your own nets. You can make a cube. Here's the net, as you can see, and then here's the solid. All right. And now this one's dealing specifically just with. Uh, oh, and here's another way of doing a uh, triangular prism or triangle, triangular pyramid that way. And this is called a tetrahedron. All right, and these are just the these are the straight up platonic solid names. Like they're made out of uh, just one shape. So that's really interesting. Like this one's entirely made out of uh, of uh, pentagons. Okay, so it's really cool to see how some of this stuff works. Let's unwrap this. This one's pretty cool. <laughs> it's all triangles. It's just amazing how it works. Okay. All right. So that is pretty much it, you guys, uh, for today. 
uh, just nets and drawings just be able to take it apart the only one I couldn't find was a cone but this is what it kind of looks like and just imagine that as a circle sector <laughs> alright you guys have a wonderful day thanks